let's do a couple very basic operations uh, involving matrices. Now, there are ways that you can do these on your calculator, but these problems are actually really, really easy to do, and it's probably more time consuming to type these in a calculator. Uh, in the next video, I'll show you how to multiply matrices using the calculator, because that's a bit more complicated. So once you see that process, if you want to go back and do it with these, you can, but I don't know, I think you'd be kind of crazy to do it. These problems are pretty easy to do. So let's start with adding and subtracting matrices. Uh, first of all, in order to add or subtract, you have to make sure your matrices are the same dimensions, the same sizes. Uh, if they are not the same dimensions, then you cannot add or subtract them, and you would just say, I can't do it, the dimensions are not the same, uh, the operation would not be defined. But as long as your matrices are the same size, which uh, in our two examples they are, all that you're going to do is add up, uh, we call them elements, numbers uh, in the same position, we're going to add them together. So uh, since these are both two by two matrices, two rows by two columns, my answer would also be two rows by two columns. And literally all you do is add elements uh, in the same position together. So three plus three gets you six, uh, negative five and six gets you a one, four and negative one gets you a three, and then finally two and four gets you a six. So there is my answer matrix. It's, it's that simple. Uh, when I go to subtract matrices, we do them the same way. Uh, I don't like subtracting though, so the old rule that you learned about changing the subtraction sign to addition still works. Just make sure you change all the signs after that. So if that, uh, negative 3 would become positive 3, 0 is not going to change. Uh, negative 1, positive 4, negative 7, positive 2. You don't need to do that, but I don't like subtracting, so I'm going to do that. Uh, now this time you may, be, uh, you may be unsure of what the dimensions are. Uh, you probably know it's either a 2 by 3 or a 3 by 2. Just remember that when you set these up, uh, rows come first, so it's rows before columns. So this would be a three by two matrix. There are three rows going across and two columns going up and down. Uh, and then over here, we can see it's the same size as a three by two, which we would need. Otherwise, we would not be able to do the addition or subtraction. And again, just go through and add up elements in the same position. So if I add up my first columns together, uh, I'd have 10, I'd have zero, and I'd have two for my first column. Uh, if I look at my second row, I would have a zero and then a negative nine. And then finally, I've got these two elements left over. So negative 1 and positive 4 add up to a 3. Uh, and finally, my last element would be negative 1 and 2, which adds up to a 1. So there's my matrix that I subtracted. Uh, now to multiply... Uh, matrices by a number, we call this scalar multiplication. You heard me say at the beginning that we're going to be multiplying matrices in a different video. Uh, there's actually two ways to multiply with matrices. There's scalar multiplication, which is what I'm going to show you right now, multiplying by a number, and then there's actually multiplying two matrices together. Scalar multiplication is simple. It's basically, oops, uh, it's basically distributive property. Why do I keep doing that? I'm just trying to make this. There we go. Uh, it's basically uh, distributive property. So take your scalar, the negative 2 in this case, and just distribute it. Multiply every single element in your matrix by negative 2. Now, matrix multiplication is much more complicated, but we'll look at doing that on the calculator in a different video. So uh, my dimensions obviously will stay the same size. Remember, it's rows before columns. So this is a 2 by 3 matrix, 2 rows by 3 columns. And my answer is going to be, again, when I just distribute, I have a 0 a negative 1 and a 10 for my first row. The bottom row is going to be a positive 8, a negative 2, and then finally a negative 8. So notice my dimensions stay the same. Again, if you want to do these on your calculator, you're welcome to, but honestly, it's going to take you longer to type these in than it would be just to do it by hand. So uh, that's basic operation with matrices, adding, subtracting, and doing scalar multiplication.